Good afternoon, my name is Bob Elliott with Unox. I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to operate your Unox oven. First thing we're going to show you is how to turn the oven on. We lift this up here, the USB cover. There's a small button here. You can touch that once. You guys see the screen flash. It's going to take about 30, 40 seconds for it to come up. So when the screen comes on, you'll see the Unox symbol. It will go all the way around. The light comes on, and then what's going to show up here first is the previous day's energy consumption of your oven. So water, gas, electrical, and water for steaming. When you're ready to cook, we will show you how to locate your programs. First thing you want to do is you want to go Programs, My Programs, and then you'll see your groups. You can go left to right. There will be 16 groups, so within each group, you can scroll down or you can scroll up to find your item. Once you find your item, you simply touch the item and you hit the start button. So once your oven is up to temperature, it's preheated, this is what you will see, it tells you that to start cooking, the oven is flashing and it's beeping. We're going to turn our handle to the left, open the oven door, put our product inside, close the oven door. We're going to turn our handle to the right. We don't have to hit start, the oven program will already start counting down. When you have less than a minute left, this clock will turn yellow. It'll actually tell you that this. When this clock down here, this one down here says 1511, it'll be done, and it only has 43 more seconds left. When you have less than five seconds left, your clock will turn green here on the screen, so you can see it anywhere in the kitchen. When your program has finished, the LED will blink, the oven will sound, so then we can simply take our product out. We're gonna turn our oven door handle to the left. We're going to wait about 10 to 15 seconds to let the energy exit. Now we're going to open the oven and take out our product. Now we can close it. If we would like to repeat, we can hit the repeat button. If we would like to add more time, we can add more time. to show you the cleaning on the Unox. First thing we're going to go through is how to load your chemical. First thing we're going to do is take the cap off. Now we're going to pull out the drain drawer. But you can actually see the level of the chemical right here. So you can see we're probably about half full. This drain drawer will hold three one liter bottles of Unox chemical. We only recommend the Unox rinse and uh, detergent that you use in your system. So first thing we're going to do is take the cap off. We're going to lift up the lid. We're going to invert the chemical on top of the drain drawer. We're going to turn clockwise until it gets tight. Once it gets tight, we're going to twist it one more. And now it's going to empty the contents of the bottle. Just a reminder on the detergent, do not take the foil top off. When this is inverted, it will actually puncture the seal and empty the contents into the drawer. Once the contents are in the drawer, we're simply going to turn the bottle counterclockwise. Put the cap back on, discard, and we're going to close our drain drawer here and simply push it back. On your stacked ovens, the two drain drawers will be on the bottom of the unit. The drain drawer on the right hand side will be for the top oven and the drain drawer for the left side will be for the bottom. When you're ready to clean, you can visually check the level of the drain drawer here. Now we're going to go to our rotor clean. Here we have our options of rinse quick or short, 
if you're doing just steaming, we recommend just a rinse. So you would simply highlight here, press the start button. If you're doing greasier items like fries and chicken, we recommend a short clean here, which is 46, and then hit the start button. Once we pick our cleaning level here, we want to make sure that all of the racks are out of the oven. So we're going to simply take the racks out, shut the door, and go through our cleaning. So once your oven is done cleaning, it will count down, turns yellow here when it's almost ready. Oven sounds, it flashes. Now we're going to simply open the oven door. Any large contents of food, particles, or grease, if it's not been cleaned, can simply wipe away. Any large pieces will sometimes accumulate underneath the drain cover. This simply comes right out. And you can simply wipe this clean. Puts back on. After you're done cleaning, you want to make sure that you inspect the drip tray so it's free of any uh, chemical crumbs. Normally, just make sure it's clean. These four tabs here simply set underneath here, and we're just going to push it straight in until it clicks, and now our drip tray is back in. After your oven is done cleaning, you want to check the glass and drip tray on the inside. So the glass opens up here. This normally just cleans with a, a uh, paper towel and window cleaner, nothing abrasive. This drip tray here will sometimes collect little food particles and maybe some grease. Just a quick wipe is all you need to clean that. Now, if there's anything, uh, smudge marks or anything on this side of the glass, you can use glass cleaner and a paper towel. And then this simply snaps back into place. These two tabs, one on top, one on the bottom. Just like that. We're going to close the oven. There we go. Just here as a reminder, the everyday cleaning of the glass inside is not necessary. It's just simply visual. So if you see maybe some particles are in here or some grease, just simply wipe them out. Like I said, not normally an everyday occurrence, maybe once a month. So after your day is done, you're done cooking, you're done cleaning, we're going to show you how to turn off the Unox. Simply lift up the control cover here, hit the on off button once, and there you go. So a couple additional cleaning uh, do's and don'ts. You want to stay away from any chlorinated degreaser wiping on the oven. Simply just do a stainless steel polish here, window cleaner here with a paper towel. I'm going to open the oven door. Do not use anything abrasive, stainless steel pad, or any kind of uh, non approved chemical. You want to use, make sure it's a, uh, a soft. Uh, towel or maybe a uh, soft scrub pad that has like a foam, uh, soft foam uh, surface on it. Make sure you're not scratching the surface of your oven. One last tip at the end of the day. Simply leave your oven door cracked just like this. This will prolong the life of your gasket on your oven.